Bulos's Citadel. Stoneforge Mystic's a nice compact win condition. Fracture Identity is still good in this format, but it is a lot of colors. I was kind of hoping I could be like blue black tinker and just be able, able to cast the Citadel sometimes. If you pay me $50, I will do an auto select step in this format, but it is largely a waste of time, friend. The literal, um, Drafting an unplayable deck and uh, losing in two rounds quickly. You'd li literally just be watching me lose with a pile of unplayable cards. Not my idea of a good step, obviously. Drafting is most of the fun. It really is, right? And then you're like also taking the fun out of playing. <laughs> it's like no fun, even not even a smidge of fun anywhere with that particular step. $50 sounds too cheap. I mean, I can draft it through really quickly. An O2 drop pretty quickly. <laughs> I don't think, I, don't, I think $50 is the perfect amount. Look at it, one ring, look at it, memory lapse. Man, Inti's gotta be busted. No tinker yet. No real fixing. Yeah, Indian Gut could be pretty sweet. Some really underpowered packs here. When you get a pack that doesn't have power or fixing or anything, it's like, eh. We lost out people earlier. They were using it as like a combo piece though, to be, re be able to replay stuff for Storm. That's a little better. I'm gonna take the Soul Ring, and then it's like tense between Vamp Tutor, Remand, Skydiver. I think Skydiver is better than Remand, actually. But yeah, we're gonna take the Soul Ring, and then it's like Vamp or Skydiver or Marsh Flats, right? I guess Vamp can also be fixing. Yeah, let's take Vamp. I'm in the mood. Sup, Orcs. Mastermind. Memory Jar. Jar's another card that plays with Pomaster and Narset. Not that good of a combo with Narset. Not necessarily Skittles. We're gonna get a good deck here, but what we want to be doing is not really something you can claim, right? I wanna be doing a whole bunch of different things. I don't wanna just draft the same deck every single time. I wanna experiment a little bit at some point. To clarify, you can't get duplicates in this version. Yeah, so they posted an article saying that you would be able to get duplicates. But then in our drafts, we haven't been seeing them. I wonder if anyone's picked Moto about that. If they changed their minds or if that's a bug. It's due to a technical issue, gotcha. Thanks, that's the answer I was looking for. Maybe Preacher's good here. You like pressures and draws cards? Should be good with Time Walk. Think about true name versus spell pierce. No fixing, no moxen. Subtlety is a free spell. It's not like the best free spell, but it is a free spell. Just remember more answers to whole breacher, maybe. Where's well, that tinker I wanted? Do we still want tinker? We don't have a ton of stuff to sack. Yeah, I guess I still want it. Vista Counterspell. Hull Breacher Mox Jed. Hmm. Is that Mind Twist I was talking about? There's a Xander's Lounge. Coming to play tap lands are pretty iffy, but currently the Misty doesn't do anything. Off-color mocks. Some rags. 
Not nearly as good of an Urza deck as we played earlier. Maybe it's still just the best card. Still pitches to Subtle Team. The Collective Brutality is almost interesting. I like Probe. Can like let us know what the coast is clear. Cantrips. Letting people know on Twitter that there's no duplications. Because I talked about it all day yesterday, and I don't want to, like, mislead folks. Yeah, Probe. I don't know what the other card is here. I think Ancient Tomb's rough the mana. Maybe the Talisman's okay. A little fillerish, huh? Whatever the last card is. Maybe Spell Secret's where it's at with Time Walk and Recall. Ooh, Delta. Yeah, all these off-color mocks and just make the mana so much worse. For the last pack, I think the best card we could get would actually be Force of Will, not Black Lotus, but Lotus would be sweet too. What about an off-color mox? Yay! We have no playables, right? We do. Let's take the Sunken Ruins. Hmm. Wheeler bust dot deck? I don't think so. We got Tinker for Citadel. We are a little threat light, I suppose. No Urza Saga here. No Shield Ridden. I am interested in Preordain, Cedro. Preordain's very good, but I'm making cuts here, and my man is bad. If you're making cuts from your deck because you have too many playables. And your mana is bad. You should take the fixer over the over the cantrip. Or they any playable, right? Moxen are considered lands. Yeah, if you play Moxen in in spell slots, you'll just have way too many mana sources. We like well over half your deck. We are missing forces. Yeah, our only free counter is subtle team. We have Duras and Mind Twist and counter spell. Dismember for their whole breacher. And all breacher and our set are disruption too, right? It's a form of disruption. No mox sapphire, that's a bummer. Every other mox. <laughs> this would be nine blue sources. And seven black sources. Yeah, I think I want that extra land. I don't know what the last cut should be. I don't think I want to cut Mana Leak. Mastermind's pretty sweet with Hull Breacher and Narset. I think Urza might be my worst card, but I think we're a little bit threat light to be cutting Urza and Preacher. Seems less interesting to you. Less interesting than what, Nanorath? Could cut Dig Through Time. We could cut Dig Through Time. One cool thing about Dig Through Time is it gets around opposing like Narsets and all Breachers and such. Jotaxian Probe does not count as a land. And the land that we're running, we need for our uh, mana sources so we can play our spells. Like if you probe and draw like a Mox Pearl, it doesn't help you, right? Play the 41 special. Could. I think I'd rather cut like a Mana Link or something. With the aforementioned to dig through time. Is Preacher that good? I think like a fast Preacher could be really good, yeah. And like I said, when I said that I wasn't cutting it earlier, we are Threat Light, and I think Inners are important for that reason. They can be like the worst cards in the deck and still be essential, right? Tinker gets Bolas' Citadel. We'll probably rarely be getting one ring. You like having the dig through time? Yeah, it is an option, hum. I think we're gonna end up boarding it in against everybody that's got like the Narset Hull Breacher everything. And go find an answer for us. All but one mox? Yeah, all about the most important mox. Pretty good hand. Wish I was on the play.
I have been successfully memory lapsed. This might be wrong, but it does get it down underneath counter magic. Plus, as we saw in my last draft, I'll forget to play in response to recall anyway. Would love to duress. I think holding up counter spells better. What just happened? They memory lapsed my ancestor recall and then untapped and brain freezed it. So that I didn't re, re so I didn't redraw it immediately. I did take the bait, yeah. Pretty easy to do. Only get so many t so much time to answer questions, eh? I'm such a fool. The mystical tutored for probe, eh? Well, that will will resolve. I have an interesting call. Again, again. No counters, no fast mana, no duress here. Yeah, right, RBD? I'm always nice and helpful. <laughs> I would never troll somebody. That would be rude. It's a lot more mana than when I play it, um. Oh, hey, Duress. Um, yeah, I'll play that. Too bad I don't have an underground C, hum. Oh my god. No, I don't I don't wanna! I don't wanna choose a card! <laughs> don't make me! Alright, let's just go next. Again, just getting it down underneath counter, counter magic. Could be super wrong to not be flashing that one in. We're only one black source away from playing the Citadel. Look at those dual lands. How, how does everybody else have managed to get dual lands in this fucking format? This Nitro Fun track, so good. What they detutored for an answer to the Mastermind. Doesn't look like it. Fine. Do 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 Sure. Hmm. I shouldn't have played my land. Well, anyway. Oh, I need to play my land. I need the blue sources.
Do I like having that one on top? Hey, Bill the Cat, thanks for the seven months. Appreciate you. Vamp Tutor is pretty sweet with Citadel. KOD wins! Yay! Don't love this open air, but at least we're on the play, huh? So the turn two counter spell. Maybe is it like disastrously late? You pizza slut? That's me. That's me, all right. Do you think the party cut would be easier to eat on stream? I think no. I think I just want triangles. Well, let's try the party cut. I never do the fucking party cut. Party cut to share? Yeah, perfect, perfect. The toppings I would add to Little Caesars lineup is garlic chunks and fresh basil. And those will never happen, but I would love it so much. Uh, yeah, deal. I'm, like, pretty happy about that. I was worried they were going to all reach me or orcs and then I'd have to settle team. Garlic on pizza always smells amazing and tastes amazing, and it's just, like, ridiculous. Decadent. A supreme pizza for supreme draft? That's a good point. And no. <laughs> I feel weird ordering Little Caesars pizza without getting a two-liter Mountain Dew. It's, like, alien to me. Usually that's part of it, is that I drink, like, an entire fucking two-liter... And just and let the like the caffeine and sugar balance out the extreme amount of grease I'm putting in my stomach, so I don't just pass out immediately. I am still off pop, yeah. That's a decision that I've been like really happy with. I'm just gonna be lifetime off soda now. You've had bad experiences with pizza in Mexico City. I believe that. Yeah, pizza can certainly be more high variance in some areas than others. They're hellbent? I have this card. Is this good? Hell yeah, little Donnie. Love that. The game has ended. Yep. Yeah, we can get Force of Will, but maybe Hull Breach is even more important, Tom. Um, do we have a win condition? Uh, at the end of that last game, we had a 16-16 Urza token. Let's see if we can draw a land for this Tinker. Please. No. Okay. Your turn. You want to draft 10 Force Wills? Yeah, me too, friend. Me too. The last couple times it was Supreme. It was like this too. So it's kind of a bummer. It's like more of the same. I feel like the format was more popular when you could get multiple 
pieces of power too. This feels closer to playing like actual vintage, which is kind of cool, but it is less exciting. It's pretty exciting that they were going to switch it back. Oh, well, it's a playable at least. The two worst time walks you've seen in a while. I mean, this one dealt a bit damage, huh? With that mana vault. These draws, huh? <clears throat> These draws have not been suiting me. This is why you have trust issues. I don't blame you. The Xander's Lounge and <laughs> Seven Underground Sea. Ugh. What are the odds that Tinker resolves? I think I want to spend a turn dressing first. Fucking wild. No. I meant to tinker. <laughs> All right, new plan. It's fine. Everything's fine. This is what we intended to do. It's it's all good. Throwing for content. I wish. I wish. Opponents doing literally nothing. Well, we just gave them a fresh seven, and they're playing storm combo. <laughs> I suspect they will now be able to do something. <laughs> do we let them resolve that? I guess we already have plenty of cards with this one ring card, huh? The game has ended. Cool. Now I gotta stop misclicking. There's been some bad ones. There have been some real brain farts today. I'd be a lot more excited about this hand on the play. I think this is too slow on the draw, right? But we can't even vamp on turn one. What do you all think? We at least like have both of our colors. What's our deck look like? What are we looking for? We could have Spell Pierce or Duress on turn one. Or we could have a Mox, maybe. Vote you definitely keep, but you voted lose on the gamble. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is a tough bottom. He said, resisting the urge to make an inappropriate joke. Tough bottom indeed. I do prefer a softer bottom. I do prefer an easier one. So obviously we want to keep Twister Hullbreacher. And then if they have an answer for Hullbreacher, it would be nice to have Narset as a backup. But Mastermind and Subtlety I can actually cast. So I think I'm supposed to be Narset here. Sweet. Benes wanted to read me, but was unable to do so. Oh, no. Well, I appreciate him putting in a good word. Sending some folks. Hope y'all are having a good day. 
Oh, Ben's stream was great. One of the legends. Legends of Limited. Hmm. An attempt. Nice. Oh, this doesn't work because that was their fifth card. Amazing. Uh, well, ping it. <laughs> All part of the plan. So, speaking of punts, and with Ben S on my mind, years and years and years ago, we got paired together at a random GP day one. My record was pretty good. My deck was pretty good. Playing some sealed deck. We were in the feature match area, and it was written coverage match. It wasn't uh, it wasn't video, but there were a lot of people standing around watching us, and the the written coverage person was there, and I was a little nervous. And in in one of the games, I uh, attacked my my four mana two two into a um, into a three three, thinking that it had metalcraft, and I super did not have metalcraft because I only had two artifacts in play. And as soon as I made the attack, I realized that it was fucking terrible. And I just had to sit there, like, stone-faced, like I was bluffing or something. As Ben sits there and thinks through, like, every trick that's in the format that I could possibly have. <laughs> giving me the, um... Giving me the benefit of the doubt, you know? What does Sold seeing this Narset do? I think I'd rather cast the Subtlety, right? Anyway... He eventually blocked, and I ended up losing the match. But I went. I, I went and I checked the um, the the tournament coverage later, the text coverage, and in there it's written up: Caleb Durward makes a bold bluff. <laughs> Super not what happened. Anyway, I don't know why I just thought of that. I mean, it's from all the sloppy dop I've been having today. That shielded from the opponent here is a little terrifying. If Time Twister resolves, do we win? We don't, right? We, well, we'd have seven pings towards them. They'd go to eight. I think we do win if they have nothing. We don't get to draw any cards, so it's like particularly scary. But I think we go for the win here. Because the Narset's going to prevent me from drawing. Not going to get easier. Yeah, right? The Swift one with the 74 month subs in 74 months of Prime! Exaxes. After I threw away a Bowmaster trigger, too. Awesome. Just never punished. <laughs> Just never get punished. If you're ever going to get punished, just don't get punished instead. It's better. So they're playing Narset over there, which makes me want to dig through time. We don't really have the room, though, huh? We don't really have the space. Maybe cut Preacher. I feel like I want stuff to be able to attack with, but the Preacher, we haven't actually cast the Preacher yet. You love how this format makes Twister feel like true power again, right? The more other power you have, the better time Twister gets. So it's power nine, but it's like just much, much worse in regular vintage cube. Just one, unfortunately, near him. Sub Dog I guess I'll run it back. I do want to play that dig, though. Ooh, my pizza's getting close. I can see the little red, red, little red car next to the house. Is it turn two Narset fast enough? It feels like it's not. I like the probe. Yeah, fuck, I don't know. Daiko says that I feel like time twistering and opposing Narset is very on brand for Supreme. Yeah, right? I guess I'm glad I didn't mold too low. They're just gonna lead on duress. Cast 
Counter spells, subtlety, vamp tutor, planes, shieldred. Interesting. Are they going to vamp for. Yeah, what do you vamp for with this hand? Black Lotus lets you hold up a counter spell. Are they just jamming shielded? Interesting. Just hoping that wins, huh? That might win. Mind twist looking kind of gnarly here. Yeah, not getting the goods here is rough. The Shieldred's going to take a lot of life off my life total. Our one answer to Shieldred in here is, is to dismember. And there's a dismember in here somewhere. They've got a subtlety for my Hullbreacher if I flash it in. So I just have to twist here, try and get it out of their hand. It's another last card's counter spell. Oh, I guess if I flash in Hullbreacher and they subtlety it, then I can play it from the Citadel and still triple block and eat the Shieldred. And I wouldn't have very much life, but at least the Shieldred would be dead. Shit. Yeah, I shouldn't have mind twisted there. That might have been like the one way that I could win this game, huh? Yeah, I kind of missed that I could play the whole Breacher again off the Citadel. And I'd be low, but that's better than just being very, very dead. Yeah, we're just dead now. Yeah, Dismember is my only real answer into a sh Shieldred. Should have been fine. Wish I'd seen the Hull Breacher line. I mean, I, I knew that I could flash in Hull Breacher, but I just thought their subtlety was going to end that, that that line. Damn. Yeah, I think I should have won that game. Just win this one instead. Yeah, we're just maximizing our, uh, our game equity, huh? Hank could use some black mana. Oh, my food, my pizza, my pizza's here. I can't wait to stuff my fat face. It's gonna be so good. Hey, Ninja Jeff, thanks for the 42 months. Appreciate you. Oh, don't notice you, my apologies. I wonder what they're gonna vamp up. Nice draw the Mox Jet. Very nice, yeah. think god this is decadent i'm gonna have like three pieces of this mm, look at that stuffed crust look at that beauty i'm gonna make a fucking baby with this pizza Oh, we lose our black source. Kind of spill on top, so troll. Love it.
Well, Vamp Tutor is really good. Like when Bowmaster and then Spiral here. Well, then it's like, do I want to Urza into that or do I just want to? The game has ended. Sick. Another trophy. All right. To the surprise of nobody, we are doing better with the blue decks. I would like to get a trophy with the non-blue deck. As a little, like, sub-goal to myself.